Hello there, what is happening guys? This is Sam Boyland one and today I'm going to be doing another mod installation tutorial for Minecraft. Now today is going to be one that's quite close to my heart. It's one of my more successful tutorial tutorials from the past and it's for Zombiecraft which has recently been updated for 1.2.4. So, I'm going to go through the safest and quickest way to do it. And first things first, if your Minecraft is running an older version, such as 1.1, 1.2.4, or if you just want to make sure your Minecraft save file does not get messed up in any way, and you can restore it to that, you're going to want to have to go to start and search bar, put in your search bar, or run if you don't have a search bar, percentage, app, data, percentage. And once this comes up, you're just going to hit this, make a copy of that and paste it down onto your desktop so later on when you're done with zombie craft um, and if if it just generally messes up your save files on minecraft or something you're always going to have this backup right here on your desktop it's always better to be safe than to be sorry so you may as well always make a copy of that so if it, something goes wrong you've got your backup there everything is all safe so once that's done, you can just plunk that there. Now, second, if you are actually running in an older version of Minecraft, such as 1.1 or anything like that, the easy way you can update to 1.2.4 is to just hit start, and here where it says options, click force update, press done, and then hit the login button. I'm already fully updated, so I don't need to show you that. And now, for the actual zombie craft thing. So what you wanna wanna do you wanna go to the description the links in the description and download zombie craft from here and bring that down onto your desktop. Now if you don't already have it, you need to go install Winra or 7zip, either one of the two. I prefer Winra personally so that's what I'm going to use. So see you've got these book things here that means it's automatically going to open with WinRA but we don't actually need to open it. All we need to do is right click on it and click extract here and it will bring up this file called zombiecraft launch. Now when we press this double press it should bring up your usual things You'll have noticed that options in the login have swapped around, so don't get them messed up. And just press login, and it will automatically update your Minecraft. Now, let's just leave that, and I'll be right back in a second. Okay there. Okay there? I don't know why I said that. Hello there. <laughs> We're back, and um, Zombiecraft is successfully installed. Now, I don't know why it says Minecraft Beta 1.3 underscore 01. That's obviously the last stable version they have but now it's all loaded up and you can see all working you got all this stuff that's probably going to be quite loud when I load it up so let's just turn it down a bit uh, yeah you, you can change the difficulty there, make it harder get your, all your usual stuff, all that so um, I'm just going to pick any one of the three maps might just pick courtyard you must be wondering why there's no OK button, you just double click it and it should load up. And here you go. There it is. <laughs> it's quite cool. Um, I don't know why, but right cl left click is melee, which is a bit weird. And then you can hit right click to actually shoot. Um, you should see points up in the top left, and points can be used to open doors or buy weapons, like so. You can also press E to repair barriers, but apparently pressing E is going to conflict with the option to open our inventory, so I'm just going to change that real quick. Inventory, let's just change that to O. Get it right out of the way because I doubt we'll be needing it much. And now I can press E and repair those. Uh, like this. There we go. I've got 640 points, so I can get the M1 Grand. I haven't got much ammo for it. How much is ammo? Yeah, it doesn't say. I'm going to wait until I get a thousand points, because then I can open the door. 
I'm just going to play through it for a little bit. I'm not going to play for too long. This is just giving you a little sample. Don't want to give too many spoilers. And you can also press R to reload. As you can see, you've actually got all your ammo in here. I've used up a few bullets, so that is that. I'm just going to play until I can get through this door. So, if you followed all the steps I showed you, and your Minecraft was updated to 1.2.4, and you used the links I showed you, then it would all be working. How was he getting me through the door? Ooh, that was a nuke, whatever it's called. There we go, through the door. As you can see up there, there's a perk machine, and I'm in water right now. So, yeah, it's about to get a bit harder. Insta-kill! Oh, insta-kill, I'll take that. Boom! 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 Like the authenticity of it, like the actual sounds, the kills, the shots, all of that. It's all pretty damn cool. There we go, fix that up. So yeah, if you followed the steps I've shown you, then everything should be a-okay. So, thank you very much for watching. This has been Sarah Boy 901. Comment, rate, and subscribe for more. Goodbye.